What is up beautiful people and welcome back to JJ Mac Vlogs. If you're already watching this video, then I'm sure you already know that it's another edition of Cooking with Chef Jan. Today is gonna be very fun for everyone because if you love meat, if you love steak, then that's what we're gonna do. I am cooking an Angus steak with garlic mashed potatoes and mushroom sauce. Here are your ingredients. <music> What are we waiting for? Let's get cooking. So first things first, we want to boil our potatoes because this takes the longest to cook. There are tricks to cook it faster, which is to cut it smaller. This should be done in a few minutes and we'll get back to it and mash it once it's ready to be mashed. While the potatoes are going, it gives us time to prepare the rest of our mise en place. And if you're wondering what mise en place means, it's basically a French term for everything in place or everything put together. While the potatoes are going on a small pot, we want to prepare the mixture that's going to go in on the mashed potatoes later on. Milk. A nub of butter. And some garlic. Once that goes to a simmer, it's ready. The potatoes are ready. So I cooked this for about 15 minutes. Uh, you would know if the consistency is very soft and it's easy to mush. Now what you want to do is add in your milk and uh, butter and garlic mixture. Now people would ask me why I use milk. Potatoes are heavy. Um, the butter is heavy. And if I add cream to it, it's just going to be a lot more heavier. And we're eating a steak already. That's one of the reasons why I use milk. It's just more of a lighter alternative than cream. Put in that mixture. Add it gradually. You don't wanna put so much milk and then you end up with a soupy mashed potatoes. I think what we added was just perfect. Just gonna keep mixing it. At this point, you wanna add your salt and pepper. I honestly prefer using black pepper because it actually gives you more flavor than the white pepper does. And I don't like the smell of white pepper. But aesthetic wise, if you want if you don't want to see black specks on your mashed potatoes, I can understand. You can always use white pepper, but it's just personal preference to me. So maybe we'll add in a little bit more of the milk mixture. You also have different options. If you want to add uh, cheese to your mashed potatoes, that's totally fine. But I don't want the cheese on my mashed potatoes. I prefer it garlicky and just potato-y. Um, you would also garnish it with some chives. Just for added color and it gives you that um oniony flavor to it which is very good now it's time to move to the fun stuff we're gonna cook our steak 
You just want to make sure, just like how we cook the fish, you want to start off with an aggressive heat. You want to make sure the pan is nice and hot because you want that initial um, sear that will just make your steak golden brown and delicious. You want to make sure your steak is seasoned really nicely because that's all the seasoning is going to get. It's just salt and pepper. So make sure you season that pretty heavily, but not too much. You don't want a salty steak. Who doesn't love steak, right? Steak is like heaven, at least for me. Season that, salt, pepper. Give it a quick tap for luck. Now that we have a hot sizzling pan over here, it's time to put the steak. Look at it. This is gonna be so great, guys. I mean, look at this browning on the steak, guys. Can you see that? It's beautiful, right? Once you achieve that, it's time to turn it. You wanna do the same thing, aggressive fire. Get that nice golden brown uh, color, that crispiness. It gives you it gives you a lot of texture in your steak once you achieve that crispy texture on both sides of your steak you want to add in your knob of butter let it melt over there just add your garlic cloves as whole you give it that garlicky flavor and then you add in your thyme cooking a steak as easy as it is becomes very technical when you work in a restaurant environment People prefer their steak in certain temperatures. If you want your steak rare, you want to cook it at 125 degree Fahrenheit. If you want your steak cooked uh, medium rare, you want to cook it at 135 degree Fahrenheit. If you want it medium, you want to cook it at 145 degree Fahrenheit. If you want it mid well, uh, 100, um, 150. And if you want it well done, I mean, it's 160 and above. It depends on how dry you want your steak to be, which, you know, I don't um, advise you guys to cook your steaks uh, well done just because you don't want to waste all that juice from the meat itself, you know what I mean? Um, I personally like my steak uh, mid-rare. Because that way, I still get a little bit of that, well, not a little, I still get redness to it. I still get a little bit of that juiciness from it. And it's just, the meat is tender, it's not dry. On the same pan, after cooking the steak, I'm going to cook the asparagus. I didn't really blanch the asparagus this time because... I just want it as fresh as it can be. Um, I'm just going to get a little bit of color to it. Make sure it still has that crunchy texture once you're finished cooking it. It's time to make our sauce. Want to start off with a nice hot pan again. You add in your butter. It's one of the reasons why I was using milk. is because this recipe has a lot of butter uh, to, to it. It has potatoes, it has butter, it has mushrooms, and the meat itself is heavy, so it's a very heavy meal. Oh, you're definitely going to make your wife or your husband happy. So once you melt that butter, you add in your garlic. Add some shallots to it. it around same idea you just want to make the garlic and the shallots turn translucent you don't want to burn it and if you're cooking with butter um, you also have to keep in mind that you just want to manage your heat properly because if you put it too high it's gonna 
totally burn the butter and it's gonna burn everything. This recipe, it also requires red wine. But just like on my last video, I mentioned that not all household has wines in them. So I made this recipe that wouldn't require me to add um, some wine to it. So right now, we're just gonna add in our mushroom. Add some fresh thyme. Just take it off the stem. Ooh. I love cooking fresh herbs. I don't know if you guys can hear that pop, but fresh herbs make your hot pan pop because, you know, it has a lot of flavor to it. Add in some of your salt, some black pepper. Just want to saute that mushroom. Right now, we just want to add in our beef broth. So after reducing this to the nice consistency that you prefer, it's time to add in, yep, more butter. And while we're at it, make sure you guys show some love. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure to tell everyone that you know about this recipe and tell them to join the Mac Nation. Um, the reason why I've been doing this lately is because of all the feedback that I've been getting. Everyone seems to be very happy with the recipes that I've been providing to you guys. Especially now that everyone's at home quarantined. Um, going back to our sauce, give it a quick taste. Oh my god. Speechless. I've done this so many times, but every time, it still gives me chills. Like... Wow, amazing. Trust me, try this at home. Now let's go plate. Before we start plating, I just wanna give a few words of wisdom to everyone that's watching right now. One of the reasons why I love cooking in front of you guys is because I get to do two things that I love to do the most, um, which is cooking and um, filmmaking. I've been a chef for more than 10 years now. Um, I've worked my behind off. Like, I've worked so many long hours. Um, I paid my dues. Um, it's amazing. It's amazing to do both all at once and to have an audience like you guys. I am very thankful. And I'm also very thankful that you guys are actually enjoying all these videos. Um, now, we're not technically a cooking show. But um, I'm going to try to incorporate more of this as much as possible. And we're going to incorporate a lot of fun stuff as well. We're just waiting till the lockdown is over. Um, till everyone can actually go outside and have some fun. I'm definitely going to have some fun with you guys. I'll bring you guys wherever I go. And as for right now, uh, we get to do the things that you know I love the most. Which is cooking and doing this YouTube videos. Let's start plating, guys. today i hope y'all enjoy this video i definitely enjoyed doing this video um i'm a meat type of guy i love steaks i love the mushroom sauce and i love the garlic mashed potatoes you're definitely going to make your partner very very happy and as always don't forget to hit that subscribe button like i told you guys earlier i am so 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 thankful to all of you for all your support but let's not stop here let's keep spreading the word 
tell your friends to subscribe on our channel and tell them to join the Mac Nation. Also, if you want an update every time I upload, make sure to turn on your post notification bell. Now from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.